Hi everybody, it's Heather with Diamonds and Dragonflies and welcome. Today I am going to be starting my comparison project. So if you watched my sneak peek of the Art and Soul Kit Enjoy the Little Things, which is of Winnie the Pooh from Reagan Kubasek, you saw that I received two of the same kit. I received a computer rendered version and I received a hand rendered version. I am gonna be doing a comparison project where I am going to be working on both kits at the same time, section by section, to be able to show and compare the differences between the hand rendered and the computer rendered version. I have said many times that I prefer computer rendering because there's means a lot of confetti. A lot of people prefer hand rendering. They don't want any confetti or very, very little. To be honest, the best possible thing to do, in my opinion, would be to computer render, but then have someone go back through and clean it up a little bit. Get rid of where there's just one of a color drill in the middle of nowhere. Um, those sort of things. Instead, I just do that myself as I go along. How I have decided to kit this up is I have done two Elizabeth Ward trays. There are 59 colors in the hand rendered version and 60 colors in the computer rendered, ver rendered version. So I have the inventory sheets on top of each so that I do not get them mixed up or confused. I am using similar project bags. They are just opposite of each other. All of the additional drills, because I needed some more than what it came with, are in here. I have these on the wrong ones. So I will have similar project bags. I've picked the computer rendered version is going to be using... Okay, what is wrong with my zipper here? There we go. Is going to be using... Creations Morin Lilac Putty, Not Your Mama's Mud, Lilac, because I got nothing, in the single placer, and this beautiful pen that was hand-turned for me from Stacy Travis of Lady Lathe Customs by Design. Then my hand-rendered version, I am going to be using this pen, that was hand turned for me from Vicki Peterson of Lady Lathe Customs by Design. And I will be using Randis Crafty Corner Honeysuckle and Peach along with Honeysuckle and Peach Hard and Sticky Wax in my single placer. It's downstairs and I didn't go downstairs to grab it for this video. So I don't have it up here with me. I am using the same cover minders, because I don't really need cover minders. I covered it with release papers, and I'll tell you why. But these are my cute, adorable little cover minders that I will be just putting on just to look at. These two are from Miss Minder on Etsy, and this is from Galloway's Gallery. So how I decided to do this is very similar to how I did Jungle Dragon. I have covered both canvases completely with release papers. I used similar release papers. I did run out, so I had to wing it on the second kit. But I have, everything is divided into 29 sections. I have made my chart with my 29 sections. I am having the members of my Patreon all pick a number and then they get a square. I have written down in order who picked what squares and that is the order in which I will be doing the kit. So for example, Liz's square was number 15, which is one, two, three, four, this square right here. So that will be the first square I do. I will do it on this canvas and then I will flip over and I will do it on this canvas. So I will be doing the same section on each canvas as I move through them. I did it this way because I don't want to see What's coming up? I don't want to see how it's looking 
until the very end, until it all comes together. I will be doing periodic check-ins where I will post and make a video showing what I have done thus far. I'm thinking that there's 29 sections. So I'm thinking I will do a post at 10, at 20, and then at the end. So once I have completed 10 sections, I will do an update video to show you how it's come along so far. And then I will do that again after 20 sections are done. And then will be the final after all 29 sections have been completed. But I want you to wish me luck. Updates for this will be posted um, as I get them done. I have a lot of projects going on right now, so I don't know how long it's going to take me to do the 10, but we're starting. So thank you all for joining me today. I hope you find this exciting. I hope you are looking forward to being able to see this and be able to make a better educated guess or decision, I should say, about whether you would prefer hand rendering or computer rendering, and you'll be able to see the differences of how an art piece of artwork looks when it's done in both formats. So thank you for joining me. I hope you hit that like button. I hope you subscribe. And remember that without the darkness, we'd never get to see the stars. See you soon, guys. Bye.